In this video, we will be sharing with you the one strategy to finding a product that literally no one else on the internet is talking about. So those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu, the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact 1 million lives at a time. You see, when I first started selling on Amazon and figured out exactly how to do it, there was one bottleneck that I just could not simply get over, and that was finding the right product but most importantly, finding the right product consistently and always having a strategy in hand that can produce me good products. And I had to create an arsenal of product research methods in order for me to keep finding products. Because when you first launch your first product, it's really important for you to start um, on, pro you know, on product research and spend enough time and then spend enough time doing product analysis and differentiate your product from the competition and then scaling it, launching it, getting it to the top of page one and so on. However, if you want to keep scaling your business and keep launching products, the product idea finding will be a bottleneck. And if you go through the traditional route, like everyone does, putting parameters in a, in a, in a software or you know, doing kind of what everyone else is talking about on the internet, the typical way that tends to run out or find you products that everyone else is finding, meaning the competition, even if today isn't so great, it will actually become greater over time, you know, over the next months or years. And so when I found this strategy that I'm going to be talking to you guys in this video, everything changed for me. My entire Amazon business changed. And that's when I was able to scale the Amazon business. Now, before I do that, if you guys want BJK University to teach you this strategy one-on-one and hold your hand moving forward and help you launch your first product and beyond and help you scale your business, below this video, there is a link to a, a little page that'll help you understand how BJK University can help you and what we do to helping you launch and scale your Amazon business. Okay, so today I wanna to talk about what we're looking for in products, how we can find a great product to analyze. We wanna go a little bit more in depth. Uh, I call this, I spy with my little eye because there's so many great sellers that are out there and they all have stores and stuff. I want to go look and see what's in their store. You know, mm. we can look, we can, you know, get that little magnifying glass and get in there and, and see what they're doing. Because if we look on X-ray, our X-ray with, with our app of Helium 10, we want to press the revenues twice, which brings up our top revenue makers. Now they're making good revenues for a reason. They're very good at what they do. So I want to see what else they're doing. So we get to spy on them a little bit and see what they're doing. And we can, sometimes we can find some great products, especially when we put it into our criteria in our Helium 10. So one of the first things I want to look at, and, and I'm going to share my screen in a minute. And I just type in a generic product and I, I type in, um, canvas tarp. So I'm going to show you how we look. We want to see what their reviews are. And there's a reason why we're looking at both the negative and the positive reviews. So we want to, I'm going to open my screen now and show you guys uh, what we're looking at and how we're going to analyze this and look for what we can put in our listing. Okay. Okay. So we've opened up our Amazon page. You can see at the top that I put canvas tarp. And I've gone up to the top and I've pressed uh, so we can pull an x-ray. So what it's telling me, actually, this is revenues are pretty good. And we have a criteria where we want to see, is, as you can see, I'm hovering over it. And it says four out of the top 10 products are under 250 reviews. It's actually pretty good. And, and sometimes we, I'd like to see it at seven, six and seven. But sometimes we can go a little bit lower and see what it looks like down here. And I see a lot of room to grow in here. This is actually very good. You can put me on the, in the top 20 and, and I can still have a lot of room to grow. So this is great. But what I want to do is show you that we want to go to the top revenue makers. This is what I want to see. Look at that. This guy's making a quarter of a million dollars in a month. He's obviously doing something right. So what I want to do is I'm going to go take a look at him. Let's see, he is selling a tarp. And so another, the next step is, I wanna read his reviews. So see all the stars that are here. I wanna take a look at why has he got a one star? And then I'm gonna read the reviews on this. I wanna know what the problem is. It ripped, you know, what's the consensus of what's going on here? I wanna- Why do you wanna, why do you wanna read the negative reviews, Lorraine? 
because I want to see what I can fix. Mm. If I have, I'm not just going to go to the top one. I'm going to do the top 10 sellers with the most revenues. I want to see if there's consistency in issues. If there's a consistency where uh, the, the little holes are coming apart, well, I'm going to get somebody to put maybe something brass in there that, that, that is clamped on, you know, something better, something stronger, something that's not going to tear, something that's going to provide value, but also it's going to allow me to post in my listing how I've made an improvement to something that people are having an issue with. So, so what you're doing is you're pretty much using their negative reviews for your advantage so that way you can improve your product and and, and, and thus differentiating your product from the competition by providing what the customers are complaining about. Absolutely. And there's a way for me to look at pretty much a lot of stuff in here. And I want to, we would go to our review insights when I pick one person. So I'm going to pick this guy again. And I want to come over here to my helium and I want to analyze just him. It should show up. There it is. So I want to take a look inside what he's doing. So I can see that he has, and this is your breakdown of how many reviews they have under each star. So I would look at the three, two, and one to find out what's negative. What they like is it's heavy duty. It's well-made so far, canvas tarp, better than, these are some of the great words that are they're using, you know? And if I wanna look at the one stars, I will go and look on their product. I can see here. So if I want to go over here, I'll select the rating and I'll select the one stars and apply filter. So that's all that's gonna show up. Not waterproof, not recommended, customer service. And, and we want plastic tarp. So we typed in canvas and this guy's saying it's plastic. That's an issue. Very disappointed. Why are they disappointed? You know, we want to read their reviews and see what the issue is. If it says it's eight by 10, make sure it's eight by 10 and they didn't receive 11 by seven. You know, what is the issue? It doesn't look like they have many issues going on, but issues are issues. And then when we pull up, it will take notes on what his issues were with the customers. And then we'll go look at the next nine and we'll compare and find the consistency. And then we'll fix whatever the problem is. Now, another thing you want to do, and make no mistake about it, the, the five stars and four stars are extremely important as well. So I'll pick two of them and then I'll apply filter. And I want to see what is going on that's really good? What is getting all these people to buy? So I will start reading these reviews and I will find out what is so good and I will make sure my product has that so that I can also add that in to my front page where people can read it. And so I've got the best of the best and now I have a fix for what's wrong. And this works in our advantage. The next thing we can do on him, what items are selling the most? So I wanna to go to review insight again. I wanna do, if these guys are doing variations, I wanna find out, he's got variations going on. And then I wanna see, my big reviews are coming from here. Okay, so this is the size that seems to be selling the most or getting the most reviews. Uh, review shares 39%, rating is a 4.9. 4.9 is just one tiny step below a perfect 5.0. So this is going to tell me something as well. If I'm going to go with one product to start or maybe two, these would probably be my top two. So I would write down everybody's from the top 10 that I see. And I want to see who's selling the most out of the, uh, out of, uh, the bulk of them. So if most of them are selling at uh, the most of them are getting most reviews and most sales out of the 8.10, that's the one I'm going to go with because that's going to give me an advantage and that rather than doing what I want to sell. We never want to do what I want to sell. We always want to do what the public wants. So this is extremely important. Review analysis, we can see. So, and then we have our overall review. So these are really critical to us. You know, we can see their sales graph. We can see what's going on, how they're doing. You know, this is amazing stuff by being able to check the back end. And when you do for product variation, sometimes it's a color and you want to see what color is selling the most. This one goes by size. Some may go by color. They might have a bunch of eight by tens and be color. And you want to see if this one's the top one and it happens to be blue. 
then you're going to know that the top seller is blue and look at everybody else's. And if their top seller is black and this guy just happens to have blue as the top seller, maybe he's doing something right in his product listing, his product photo. Maybe he's adding some value to it. You know, some of these are really great photos, you know, and uh, it all depends because your photos are the most important thing. Make no mistake about it. Those photos are so critically important. So look at what they're doing on their photos. And the next thing we want to do, and this is a lot of fun, we want to go look at it. it says visit the store. These are the ones you want to see visit the store. I want to go take a look at what else he's selling. Well, this has nothing to do with tents, but he's selling it. Okay. Hand toolkit. I would punch this in to my helium 10 into my magnet. And I want to see who's doing really good in this. Is this a viable product? What else is he selling? Okay. This looks pretty good. Interesting. He's selling, I know I've analyzed this already. This is actually a good product. So he's selling all different tie straps. I've analyzed this one too. A big kit, a uh, motorcycle. Look at all the different things he's selling. I know these are selling well, because I almost did it. <laughs> but see, we can get ideas. If you have a successful Amazon seller and they're making a quarter of a million dollars, obviously, they're doing something right. So we want to go and see what else they're selling and we want to analyze their products. And that's how we can find another solution to finding products is go spy on your competitors. I spy with my little eye. So Lorraine is going to give you here a recap of exactly what we talked about. But before that, if you want to learn exactly how BJK University can help you throughout this entire process, find the right product, whether if it's this strategy or all the other strategies that we have in our arsenal, and really guide you through this entire process, click the link below this video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one strategy session with one of our enrollment coaches. So before we end this video, Lorraine, can you walk us through what we just talked about the last few minutes here? So that way everyone has kind of a recap of, of, of how it all works. Absolutely. So I call this, I spy with my little eye, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna look at my competitors. I wanna see what's going on. I wanna see why they are so successful, what I can learn from them. How are their photographs? How are their reviews? What's making them sell the most above everybody else? So I wanna look at those top 10. So I'm gonna click that revenue maker and I'm gonna see who's on top. And then I'm gonna go look inside. And I wanna see what's wrong with the product, what I can improve, what's gonna make me stand out, what's gonna give me the edge. The second thing I wanna check out is what items are selling the most. I don't wanna go in with what I wanna sell. I wanna know what everybody else wants. You know, what are they typing in? What are the keywords that they're typing in? What product do they want? Do they want the eight by 10? Do they want the blue? Which is the most selling? you know, product that's out there. And I'm gonna find that out from these top makers because obviously they're doing something right and I wanna be in the right with them. I wanna be right there with them. And the next thing I wanna look at is, I'm gonna go look at their store. I'm gonna get product ideas and I'm gonna analyze each and every one of their products and I'm gonna find something really good because if they're making money off of it, chances are so can I. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button. Let us know what your questions you have in the uh, in the comment section below. Outside of that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Aloha.